Hey guys, I'm starting out with a fresh face and now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Garnier Pure Active 2-in-1 Tinted Spot Roll-On. You can't get it in Singapore anymore because everybody sucks and I guess it got discontinued. So I'm sorry, but I really love using this. It's so blendable, it's so smooth and ah, it, it's relatively cheap. So I like it. Uh, I'm, I'm blending because sometimes I have actually forgotten to blend. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> so never to make that mistake again. I'm going in with another concealer. This is a thicker one. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And the reason why I'm not using foundation is because I don't need a very strong coverage as much as I do just um, covering up some pimples. So that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm putting it on my eyelids as well because I still have quite visible scarring from the surgery. So I just blend it out. You know, I don't put too much of it. Um, as you can see, I don't really like doing this step because I don't like tugging on my eyelids. But okay, moving on. I'm now filling in my eyebrows in short, fast strokes with the Revlon Brow Pencil in grey. I like it because it's fast free and actually it stays on pretty well. So that's a plus from the drugstore. And now I'm going in with brow powder. Oh, actually, it's an eyeshadow. It's by MAC. It's called Concrete. And I really like it because it's a very neutral color. It's not too warm and it goes great in brows and on the crease. I'm just going in with an angled liner brush from e.l.f. Now, cleaning up with a spoolie so that it looks more natural and not as harsh. Oh yeah, moving on. I'm now going to brighten my inner corners with this. It's the collection eyeshadow stick in a light pink and it's a cream formula so it's quite blendable. And I'm going to go in with the Cute Eyes Maker from Etude House. What a stupid name. I don't know why they'll call it that. But it's my favourite and it's already my second one. I'm going through it like crazy. And I put in a crease for shadow and then I use the light side to highlight the higher points of my eyes so that's basically like the brow bone and the inner corners and anywhere I want the light to bounce off. So I be blending, I be blending all day okay the more you blend the more subtle it becomes so I want it to be like real subtle like I was born this way okay so I'm blending. And now I'm gonna line my waterline with this Sephora flashy liner in silver. Now I'm going to go in with the same MAC eyeshadow that I use for my brows called Concrete and I'm going to just have a very soft eyeliner look. Like a really soft, like you can, it's like pillows. Do you see it? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go in with this random ass um, dark brown eyeliner. I don't even know where I got it from but I didn't want to use black because it would be too harsh. So I just line the tight line, which is the upper waterline. And now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm just using uh, any old one I have at home. It just works and there's really nothing much to say about curling your eyelashes. So I feel pointless. Yeah, very, very pointless. Okay, mascara, woohoo! I'm gonna go in with Benefit Stereo Mascara. And I like the formula a lot, but the wand is a little bit spiky and sometimes it hurts my eyes. But it may just be me being a little pussy, so... <laughs> Why did I say that? Whew. Okay, now moving on. I'm using the Tone Correcting Powder by e.l.f. to quickly set all of my hard work and I'm just buffing it out with an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. I'm now using the Contouring Blush and Bronzer Kit from e.l.f. again and a Contouring Brush from Real Techniques. And I'm only using the bronzer side to kind of warm up my face and also to go over the natural contours of my face. I don't know why but just this colour makes my skin look so like healthy and glowy. Glowy. The blush I'm gonna use is called Hot Mama by The Balm and I absolutely love it as you can tell by my spazzing because it's the perfect rose gold blush. It's smooth, it's so buttery and it makes your skin so glowy. I'm now gonna go in with a highlight and contour for my nose using the Etude House Cute Eyes Maker. See, I told you, it's so convenient. And the brown is a perfect brown for contouring. So ta-da! Okay, gotta get my highlight on fleek. I'm gonna use Colourpop's Lunch Money and oh my god, I love it, you can tell, right? It's so nice, it's so like creamy and so smooth and the highlight is actually quite intense so I kinda like it that way. 
I'm applying the highlight to my cheekbones as well as a little bit on the brow bone and connecting it in a C shape to kind of resemble healthy glowy skin. And I'm buffing it all out with an e.l.f. stipple brush. Suddenly I sound so professional. Okay, we're on to lipstick now. Woo! This is the L'Oreal Color Riche in Fuzzy Taupe and I love this color because it's exactly my lip color and it's kind of like a no furs, no murs kind of thing. And my boyfriend bought it for me because he's so sweet. And it was a surprise and I was like, oh, I like it. Uh, yeah, so I'm applying some highlight onto my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And I, I'm sorry, I just flipped you guys off. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry, I didn't mean it. So I'm just using other fingers now, okay? Cool. Well, I'm actually becoming an adult and I'm dabbling in lip gloss now. So I'm using Kate's lip gloss in RD2. And I'm just gonna apply a little tiny, tiny non-intimidating amount on my lips. You can add a wing liner and falsies to this look, but that's about it. You're done. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to subscribe, just hit that button down there. Uh, you'll get notified when I release new videos for free. Oh. And feel free to comment if you like this style of editing. I don't know, voiceovers are first time for me. So I'm excited to hear your feedback. I will be posting more videos really soon, really really soon, especially in December. So just keep a lookout for that. And I will see you guys really soon. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye! <laughs> bye. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. For the fall Gotta let it go, gotta let it go